Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, I'd like to welcome my second guest on the Footy Podcast. Uh, he needs no introduction at all, Mr. Liam Coyle. Uh, how's the form, Liam? How's it going, mate? You alright? Alright. Um, thanks very much for giving up your time. No, I'm a warrior, alright. They come, no they come in and, and tell everybody in the Footy Podcast a wee bit about yourself. That maybe the majority of the early people do you anyway, but it's just a wee bit of background and, and where it all started for you. And, uh, a wee back in. Southend Park, I think, on the Brandywell, was it? Southend Park, right, right. Just over on the Brandywell, just there. Uh, well, that's where, that's where it started, like, you know what I mean? Uh, Long Tower Club. Uh, there was, like, three clubs around the area at the time. Like, it was all run by the Long Tower Parks, like, you know, it was uh, right. the Lurch Hall, the Wolf Tone Hall, and the, the actual Long Tower Club. So, you grew up from, like, me playing indoor football in the Long Tower, or up in the, the Lurch Hall. It doesn't air any more choices now, and just playing out in the street with all your, your mates and them. Has everybody done? Just Has everybody football? done? That, that, that's basically what it was, because you had nothing else, like, you know what I mean? That's just, uh, you were through a ball and told to go out the street, like, you know what I mean? You had, football, you had, a, you had a TV with three channels, and <laughs> if your man and I were watching one of them, you weren't getting uh, to watch the other one, so you just went out the street, like, you know what I mean? And South End Park, like, there was very few cars in our street at the time, so. You just play you put about as, much as, as much as you want, but like you know, what I mean, and then playing between the, the gates and stuff like that, and uh, and that's that's where it was like you know what I mean, just basically on your just learn the trade, the learn the chance. Well, that's same as every every footballer, like you know what I mean, is uh, uh, you try your life. best as they play as much as you could. Uh, um, so starting off, what 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 was your first club name? Sorry, at youth level. Well, youth, youth level was was. Uh, my my first team was Bradwell Hearts, but we only started. I was uh, I went to the long time. I went to, it was a really old school, and then I was to go to the Broyle Hill, but they closed. It was just on the side. Uh, it was just on the leggy road there, just up the the, the heights, and uh, they closed. So I ended up going. I struggled up. I ended up going to long term school, primary four. And uh, sorry, primary three. It was like it was, and that's where I met. Probably the most important person football ways in my life, which was Jimmy McCartney. Jimmy, you she you know Jimmy yeah. well, like you know, and uh, Jimmy was running a school team at the time. But Jimmy was also playing with Bradwell Hearts, you know. So, so uh, sorry, Bradwell Hearts men's team. And then about seventy seven, seventy eight, I think it was the uh, junior D and D was going. Aye. You know what I mean? And Bradwell Hearts decided they. A team on a team on, and that's that's basically how it started. Like, because otherwise, I was either going to Tristar or Foil Herbs, right? You know what I mean? Because Jerry Doc had uh, a fairly Foil Herbs, right? He, 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 he had taken the Herbs, Herbs had moved out of Brandywell, Jerry had moved the, the Chantal, and uh, Foil Herbs then were, weren't really going as well, too. They sort of fell away as well. Then Jerry and Tony McLaughlin. So before my dad was talking to Jerry, he said, like, yeah, I was by him. Is it right? that Tristar or you had Trojans or Craig or whatever? Uh, but it was harder to get the thing. Was, but as a so good luck, Jimmy was running the school team. And there was about six or seven of us in one class running the school team. Right. And Jimmy decided to put a team together, and that's how we, that's how the Brando House came into existence in the day and day. You are good. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so, around then, around then, Liam, what was your. Was your ambition? Did you realise what you what you really wanted to do or be around that uh, age? Even though the love for football was always there, but was your well, it, 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 it sort of sort of kicked down. As you know yourself, like, there's just been the my lost tournament. Aye. I mean, you used to Aye. go up on a Saturday and you used to. That was a big thing. That was a big thing this, uh, in September, and you used to play about five matches on a Saturday. That's right, uh, so you just been regularly yeah. into it, like you know what I mean, and. Uh, I went up, I think it was about 80, 80 or 81, I can't remember. We, I think we were the first team ever they won, the first day team ever they won. We beat Hillsborough Boys Club in the final. And, uh, Brandy Brandywell? Brandywell Herbs. Right. We were, I think we were the first, I think it was wrong a few years, but we were the first day team. And uh, all the scouts were coming, coming about yeah. that, you know, I mean, they were, they were always up at that tournament. And, uh, a sort of tournament you always wanted to sort of well you wanted to try on because everybody wanted to get the Belfast teams basically yeah. like you know what I mean and that was that was that but uh, 
Billy Nillis, who was the scout for Forrest at the time, Billy. Big Billy. Billy was up watching that day, and uh, our tournament went, and I, I think I scored about 10, 12 goals in five matches or so. Right. And uh, he, he came and he asked you, me, he said, Well, would you fancy that? And that's, that's the first time it really struck in. I was, I, was, I, just, I just started going to St. Peter's School, secondary school now. And uh, Billy came in and asked me more and far would I go and try to the forest. So that's what it's sort of... What age were you then? I was 12. 12? 12 years of age it was. Uh, and I went, me and Bugsy, I actually went right. together. The two of us went over and uh, went over on a Friday, Friday morning. Stayed in Dykes on a Friday, played a match on a Saturday and flew back on a Sunday. Went to a match and all the stuff like that. Don't want to see Bugsy in the one that you did. Well, Bugsy had the run. Bugsy and me went over yeah, for, for 12, they were. Bugsy's a year older than me, like, you know what I mean? So Bugsy had signed before me, but we went over for 12, they were 16. We went over two or three times. Massive commitment. Two, two or three times. All the way back, all the way back then. All the way back, especially because my, my dad didn't drive me. He didn't own a phone. Aye. He used to get Aye. letters. He used to get letters from Forrest, you know. Aye, well, we'd aye, like to invite your son aye, over. Aye. He used to be like, ah, oh, jeez, I like that. Aye, there's days like, passing loose, not the way it is. It's not the way it is, where there's constant, phone. constant communication. Like, you know, I mean, then it was, you get a letter twice a year to say, right, we're taking you over. A bully would have been, a big bully would have been, contact me, the house or stuff like that there. And, uh, and that's, that's when it sort of hit me in. Like, I would love to do this, because when you go to the forest, you're, you, for, forest at that time, had just been off a bag of one in the European yeah, Club yeah. twice. You know what I mean, and uh, you see all them. Play most of them players were all still there, like you know, uh, and uh, you can see the lifestyle. It was like you know what I mean. Just, uh, just train in the morning, and go home at 12, 12 o'clock, and that was the end of. You seen Clough and that, you know what I mean. So that that's when I really really had on, like you know what I mean, and then you just you just continued either playing with school or keep playing with Randall Harps, you know what I mean. Uh, see done. see that see from a young age even likes yourself or sort of going through the troubles and stuff like that. Mm. How do you feel you were welcomed going to Lex England and, and things like that? Um, was it any issue at all? No, there was no, no issues in England at all. No, not, definitely not. You uh, had issues going to the Northern Ireland Aye. You know, because you, you got the Aye. usual, you know yourself, you know, you were you played on it, like, you know what I mean? Mm. David, David, I don't know it was David Cairns was there when you were there. David Cairns, it? David Cairns and Bob Ness, but not, mm. you know what I mean? So probably all the same boys. Like, you know, so you were, you were going up there and then... It was a big thing to be selected for oh, Northern Ireland. Massive, being massive, from massive, massive. Massive, because they, I'll tell you the only person, there was about five of us would go every year. No, it's, you, you used to play in Scotland, or, or Scotland, Wales and England then. Uh, they call it the Victory Shield, they call it now or something. Uh, um, there was about five or six of us went up, it was myself, that's Houston. You know, Dad's I. Dad's went up, and uh, Mickey Pine might have went up, Marty Morrison, Aye. and Kieran Quigley. And Kieran Quigley was the only one was picked. Now, you know, Aye. out of, out of all the other players, Ke but, but, but Kieran, Kieran at that age was bigger than everybody else, and Aye. stronger than everybody Aye. else, so he was the one that could pick. And Kieran ended up. Captain of the Northern Ireland team, like you know what I mean? And the thing about it was, see, once Kieran had 17, he never was kicked the ball again. He never kicked the ball again, like you know what I mean? And that was, that was the thing about it, but we, I got into the last 22 or something like was that. Aye, the selection process the selection was crazy. Thing, he, we used but, to be up and down. Was it seven of you? Was it seven of them? Aye, well, no, well, we were all over the place. We, we used to go to Newry, go to, go to Newry, go to Belfast, go to Orangefield. Orangefield. Yeah, that's, that's where the trials were. Trials, aye, and he would have went to Corey, you know, they would have tried to even it up. But aye. you had more problems with the, the Northern Ireland thing than, you know, than I had in England, like, you know what I mean? And I, and I was, like, I, I was a forest and I wasn't even getting a look on the Northern Ireland thing. Whereas now, if you were a forest, you'd be like, you know. Indeed, so so, so I'm, not, I'm not saying that they were aye, trying aye. to keep Nationalists or Catholics so out. But they didn't make it, because you knew it you were It certainly didn't make it easy. They didn't make it easy, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So, now, it was crap because you get away for a week at yeah. a time, you know what I mean, during the summer, and stuff like that, out of school as well, yeah. so the schools usually let you out, like, so, but, you know, that, that was it, but the, the forest thing was, uh, 
that's when you realize, yeah, that's when I realized, yeah, like, you know, this is, this could, be a, here. this could be a, a, career. a career, you know uh, what I mean? Because academically at school, I was useless. Uh, Do you know what I mean? I used to sit and look out the whole day. Just when everybody, that's it. And, and the uh, school were happy they let you do that because they knew that's what he wants to do, let him do that, like, you yeah. know what I mean? And they, they were they thinking, yourself, and, uh, that, that's, that, that's what happens, like, you know what I mean? And, uh, and then yeah, it just so happens, yeah, I, I, I'm 16, I was, uh, was after a two year apprenticeship deal. And I went, and after three months, I can, come home. You know, I'm good. Home. Awful homesick. 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 And, we'll go back uh, to what we were on about earlier on. The close of communication is immediate now. Oh, How easy would it have been? Well, this had been back then. That, that's, that's, see what you see what said there, I 100%. Because I used to play, we used to play a match on Saturday with the youth team. And then all the English fellas used to all head home. Hmm. Get on the boat on our map, bars or fours when I drove oh, up. Aye. Or you would have got a, a, mm -hmm. a, a train. I was straight back to things. Aye. Well, you're sort of isolated. Oh, me old. You know what I mean? There was Gary, Gary Flavor. Gary was there in the train as well. Gary Flay was there. And, uh, but Flay was a bit older than me, so he would have been, he was more of the first team and stuff like uh, that. You know what I mean? There was he was mature, just So I was, I was mm -hmm. sitting in this big digs of me old for a full week at a time. And you were allowed one phone call a week. You know, that, that's what they said, one phone call a week. Because they probably don't want you feeling as if you were going to be there. Uh, uh, too much so, contact. Uh, so, so after that there, like, that was, uh, that, that was how gone. They said we'll keep an eye on you, blah blah blah, and stuff like that. So I come back. So it was your months. decision to come home, man? I come home. I phoned. I hurt me back. I hurt me back the match, and I was out for about three weeks. And uh, and I remember talking to because Gary Burgles, he met Gary Burgles. Aye. Gary Burgles had uh, just gone through a back operation, mm -hmm. and I had him walk me home up and down the, the, the thing with the city ground, you know. And I remember saying. Come on down the steps. That was, his, that was his recuperation, you know, his re rehabilitation, <laughs> yeah. and like, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I remember him saying to me, he said, look, if you're not happy, just go home and have an hour, have a think about it, and don't be putting yourself under pressure and stuff like that. And uh, so I phoned, phoned Big Billy and Liam O'Kane, and said, Liam, look, man, I'm going home, I can't do this, like, you know. So... What did you do when you come home then, did you? Come home, well, look, there was no football. I mean, you know what I mean? Derry at that stage were applying for the Aries League but they were turned down and there was no senior football really like you know what I mean I used to go and watch Coleraine because my uh, school teacher Paddy Doherty he was uh, he was married to, or Felix was married to his sister at the time right. and Felix was with Coleraine and uh, he used to give him tickets so we would have went and watched Coleraine two or three times a year you know this was obviously before well this before Derry, Derry, this, Derry this before Derry. Derry were applying for Aries League Aye. getting that back there was no sign of Derry getting on the Aries League it was just thing. so you, you were looking at yourself going right I'm coming Chlorine, back now it's either stop. Chlorine Van Herfs you know that's Aye. that's your two options Aye. but I come back I couldn't even get a game with Brandon Herfs when I come back or was that a thing we like you know what I mean it was the head was all over the place Aye. and uh, and you were just, ah, Jesus, I don't know what I uh, mean. I was nearly, near not going to pack it up. Uh, you know lost what I mean? Hufford. You just lost a Hufford. You do, you, like, you do, as a footballer, uh, you do, you well, do, do you fall into it and you come back. Back again, you, I, you, you, you think about it, but at the time I was like, ah, I just, just, I'm just, let's see what I play when they need to know. Grab up the first center and do that. And, but fortunately enough, I went to Tech when I come back and I fell up with a few uh, tutors there. Like we Kai Matlowski, Kai Dorley, Eamon Dean. And they took a great interest on me, you know what I mean? They really put their arms around me and gave me what you needed. What you needed and got me on the on the and work and way of, the way of working and, and saying to yourself, and it just so happened that year there I had there I had got uh and the league irons, you know what I mean? So that was eighty five. That was eighty five, you know what I mean? So and I remember I remember uh, there was a, uh, the, the match in Thangley for everybody around that our age group would have been Shamrock Rovers coming to Brandywell. Uh, and Derry weren't on the league and there was 10,000 and Derry cobbled a team together like, made, up, made up of boys that played D&D, &D, Big Terry Kelly, uh, Kojak, Big Crack, all them boys. Just to, just to get a team out there, Jim Boyle was playing and Big Red McBride's that actually played as well too, yeah, match as well. 
And I remember Jim McLaughlin, me, me, me dad were friendly, were close, like you know what I mean. And uh, Jim came up to our house, and uh, just before you, th th this was th 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 he just came up to visit me dad, like, you know. I mean? There was a there was a thing on that girl taller shot like that me the night before, and, and somebody said, "Feel the job, but it's a decent aye, player, blah aye. blah blah." But they thought it was our Derek he was talking about, you know what I mean? My dad said, "No, no, no." Oh, Derek was a good player. Oh, Derek was a good player. Derek yeah. played a couple of pairs for Derek earlier on. Yeah, you know, I mean, he was a flying yeah. machine. Yeah. But, uh, but <laughs> I mean, always remember a thing we said to the jump. He said, Face, son, was a good player. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. My dad was there. I said, Who's, who's that, Derek? And my dad said, No, I'm a better one in the house than <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, yeah. And, and the, that jump, the jump was managing Chamber Rovers. And uh, he came up the next day and he, that was that, he said, Look, Maybe come to Derry next year, blah blah blah, if everything goes well. Easy. And he said, if I don't, he said, he said, I'll take the shower doors with me. So I said, right, listen, no, maybe not. Then. So, so he's just playing away day and day and stuff and everything, and then you're just working your way, getting your enjoyment back again, and you start making a new day for yourself locally. And then as that, that there, well, that's what that it is, it's a big bottle of laps, that guy. And yeah. Yeah, at that there, it just so happened that uh, Jump came to Derry. As general manager, Noel King was a manager, and um, Jim signed me because because I, I could have went to Oxford. Oxford were up and they signed me. United Stars. Was Oxford, it? Oxford United. Oxford United. Uh, right. I was uh, United, in England, and uh, they they came come to West playing summer clubs, and uh, at that Jim I said no, I'm going to go to Derry, and I went to Derry for three months again at that time and. It just doesn't work out well or no king like you know. Uh, what was that? A personality clash? Oh, you know, they know it's when you're younger you make, you, you make it a personality clash. Aye, because because you don't want to be in the wrong. Do you know what I mean? You think, ah, no, I'm right about I this. See, looking back now, Aye. I know. No, oh, Kicker was Kicker done nothing wrong, like you know what I mean? Aye. And there, and there was all the stuff with Jim and him going on, and I, just, I made it out to be him. But I, 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 no, I spoke to Kinger after it, like you know what I mean? Aye. Years later, and spoke to him about it. When you're younger, you think, oh, no, I don't so want to be, don't want to be blaming everybody. And I just wasn't ready for it. Aye. You know what I mean? I just wasn't ready for that uh, commitment. So on that, on the old king, what sort of what sort of character was he? Well, as I say, I was only here for about six six months with and uh, all in all, the time you were with him. Well, I no, I was only here with him for six months, right. and uh, I left. I left. I'd never trained. Judel injury? No, I no, this was when I was really 18, 19. I'd never trained like that in my life. Oh, the way no King trained. And like, you know, Quiggy was there, McGill was there, Storky, Bugsy, you know, uh, Paul Haggerty, Paul Kearney went the uh Kearney went the Van Herbs. His training was unbelievable. And I'm talking about they, 30, they, they build your fitness 30, running uh, ways or running drills. You know, before that, they're training. You just Tra training the just, you know, Aye. up and down a pitch or, Aye. you know, whatever. Aye. But Kinger had all these drills. He brought them from, he was in Belgium, but he was in Tangway and all. So he brought all these things, maybe, and he's training. And he were training the yeah, twice a day. Aye. Twice a day. They thought there was something wrong with me because I was vomiting every time I trained. <laughs> I, I wasn't used to that. I wasn't used I was a shock assistant. Aye. You know what I mean? And you bite Jack coming. Uh, Jack Key coming from Wrexham and, uh, and then the uh, Christie uh, here and the Gamma and all and like, they were all superstars right? and names, yeah, do you know what I mean? And, but they were all trained and they were all used to it Aye. you know what I mean? And I was I was in my hands and knees after every session and I looked at I looked at Storky and I looked at Kojak and I was like they were the two fattest boys I ever seen say, Storky? Storky, mm -hmm. like, Storky spoke at 25s a day and <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, it, 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 it'd been funny since I'd been lying on the ground. Bobbitt and Sturgis. He's, 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 he's having a coach, we're the two fattest boys. But he's coaching personal, personally. Was it a turning point within the club at the time? You well, know, it was. was. Adapting to another, we're at another level here. Well, uh, it's a different level. A uh, different level all together, like, you know what I mean? And, and at that time, Derry, Derry and we're just like, you know, it was massive around the town. You know what I mean? It was just amazing. absolutely massive. You know what I mean? Everybody wanted to be part of it, and everybody. And I and I thought, ah, oh, well, this is gone now. Like you know what I mean? So basically, I just went back and started kept playing D and D, D and D. I left there. I just kept playing my brother Arthur D and D. 
I'm sure, I'm sure your father was going right, Liam. Absolutely, you everybody, this, you know, everybody, everybody was talking to me. Uh, everybody was talking to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you're too much a bother to you. And I was like, I uh, could be bored. Like, you know uh, what I mean? I was like, you, you, you were talking about my jacket, the flies. Like, I was the same. Like, see, I can't see nothing about my jacket because I'm exactly, I was exactly the same. But I was quiet. You know what I mean? Like, I was quiet. I didn't see much. Did you on board, what? I was, I, I, I used to go to the address room and see nothing, you know what I mean? Let everybody talk away, like, you know what I mean? And, uh, it just so happens I was playing summer cups and I was playing really, really well and scoring a lot of goals. And at that time, Joe Healy, who would have been friendly with Fran Fields on Herbs, right. they wanted to sign me. So, uh, so I signed and went to Fran Herbs for. Are we going back? Are we going back to 87? 87. 87. 87. Uh, so it was 87 and, and that's uh, when you made your League of Ireland debut? I made my Fun League Hurts. of Ireland debut for Fun Hearts against, I think it might have been Kilkenny, down in Kilkenny it was. Um, and I played. And you scored it? I didn't score no, but I tell you what, I, it was a stroke of luck for me because I played the first two matches and then they left me out. Like Chris Rutherford was the manager at the time. And they put me in the reserves. And the man that happened to be running the reserve team at the time was Brent Bradley. Big Brent was running the reserve team and the nicest man. Ah, oh, I'm pleasant. Ah, oh, the nicest like. man. Brent was still playing. Brent was still playing in the reserves though because of the Fun Arts reserves team were fucking safe, oh. basically, you know what I mean? So they put me in the reserves and see from there, the about Christmas, me and Brent scored about 35 goals between us and he scored about 18 of them, mm. you know, and I was just knocking them through him and he was never seen a man score goals like him in all my life. Like, you know, and I heard all everything about him, like, you know, I mean, aye, playing with Van Herbs and says, yeah, as you know, he holds our uh, league earning record. But mm. just watching him and playing with him and just the way he was, you know what I mean? And just I, about, his, uh, about his business, didn't Well, the thing about it was, he, he Chris will never said to him, go on, come on and play with well, well, it was the first time I said, like, you know what I mean, Van Herbs, go on, come on and play. And I said, no, I'll throw him in now. He's ready to really play. So when I got on the team just up before Christmas, I think I ended up scoring about 10 or 11 goals that season or so for her. You know what I mean? I scored a couple of goals my first couple of starts, then I was on the bench, and then I was on the bench. And so between then and, and April, uh, I, I done reasonably well, like you know what I mean? I was, I was doing okay with her. And uh, the, the next thing, I was still an amateur at the time. Right. You know, no, you, you're not, you don't have amateur forms anymore, like you're a city professor, you don't, like, you know, that's the way it is. But I was still an amateur, and uh, Herbson owed me 500 gold, say oh. not. <laughs> Fran and had owed me five, so at the end, I'll never forget it. Played one in the last match of the season, I think I scored two in the last match of the season. And, uh, but the thing about it, that first division, toughened me up, I'll tell you. It just changed my whole Outlook on the way. Maybe a benefit. It was benefit a benefit so much. Like you see the see the, the year was at yeah, Herbs. Yeah, Like they see see the facilities at Herbs. Uh, yeah, go back thirty five years. You can, they, uh, they're awful nice. Like, you guys are like no change. You know what I mean? Going to first division grounds, brutal. You uh, know what I mean? Ah, oh, oh, just muck and kicking you and blah blah blah, uh, and it toughened me up. So at the end of the season, man, as I say, score a couple of goals, and. Uh, Called on my friend, big friend, Chris Robertson, right? We want to sign you a professional contract. We'll give you three grand signing on. Three grand signing on and three right and three hundred pounds a week back in 1987. And I said, but these are really only five hundred quid. Right, we'll throw on them as well too. And I said, I'll go away and think about it. Go away and think about it. So I just went, the way I went away, still an amateur. Just playing, playing the way in the summer clubs, Brad O'Hare's at the summer, flying or scoring two and three every match. Aye. And then we played a match out in uh, Mayo against Celtic Swifts. I said on the side, and uh, I scored eight in the final. And the season, the dairy season was just about to kick off. They were playing that Ulster Tire Cup against Hearts. So we were out. We were out for the presentation out in the McMullins Club the Saturday night. The house about two o'clock in the morning, like you know what I mean. And uh, 
landed my bed the next morning and I knocked came the door and Home I was, over. Oh, <laughs> I was at my bed, my mass said Jim McLaughlin was going upstairs. Yeah. Now I went down the stairs, he said, Where were you last night? So I was out of a presentation and I was like, oh. Right, grab your boots, you can go to Battle of Finney. And I remember right okay. Then. So met the team, the Everglades, went up to Battle of Finney. After that, he said, Right, well, what are you saying? So I, two, two months before, six weeks before, I turned down three grand a week playing my, playing my fan hours at 300. Mm -hmm. So I got and said, Right, I'll give you 20 quid a week. That's what you get. So that's what I signed for the offer. My first contract was 20 quid a week. And I was through at the reserves for three months. He was managing the game. Kevin, Kevin had taken over. Kevin had retired, I. Kevin had retired and he'd taken over his herbs at yeah. that time. And, uh, yeah. and uh, it, bought, it bought a good side, you know what I mean? There was myself and Divine Ricky was playing, Sean Collett, Big Yaka. Um, well, Sean came after, Marty Morrison was playing. Adrian Doherty played a few matches with. Yeah. Adrian played a few matches before he went to United. Yeah. Uh, so Kevin was building a, a local team, like you know yeah. what I mean? And we maybe had the chance of one or two getting on the, the first team, like you know what I mean? Ricky, myself, and Marty Morrison were on and around, around the first team, like, but that's what I say for getting for 20 quid a week. And he said to me, he said, if you do well, we'll give you a better contract, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I knew it was, was just a C, it was just But I knew it was the right thing. Like, oh, I, had a bit of, I, I knew there was no, if I had a bit of fun arms, I would I would have been playing with the guy in football again. Uh, just I, I to get you ready. Just, just they, they see, just they see what you were like, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and, and if you're uh, playing that sort of thing, you'll play anyway. Well, that's it. He said, he, he, he said to me after example, he said, he said, if I had added you 250 quid a week, he said, at that time, he said, he said, he said Mate, that's in me. He said, well, well, you would have no hunger to try and get there where you were, what you were doing, like, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So, uh, but McLaughlin was, uh, Method is madness. Method is madness, like, you know what I mean? Aye. Which isn't a bad thing. No, well, well that's it, like, you know what I mean? Aye. But, like, that's, that's, uh, that's what you have to, I, I had to sacrifice that day, play with Derry, you know what I mean? Aye. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to play with you. I didn't care if I was getting 20 quid a week or not. Aye. So you just, just wanted, didn't play with you. Just wanted to play with you. Just wanted to play with you. It's like Jersey. Um, so, let's, Trickle on your your injury, Liam. Mm. You know how did that? You know a lot of football was played, but in between times. But how did that affect you? You know. Well, uh, well, when you look at it, I broke up in the day team in uh, November '88, and and six months I won the league. Did won you the treble. Sure your, on your debut? I scored a hat like my debut, yeah. but I won the league. Won a cup, won a treble my first year, there we go. That's right, guy. Came in Northern Ireland. Uh, talk I was going here, there, and everywhere. And in the space of eight months, it was all taken away. You know what I mean? The space of eight months, it was all taken away. It was like, this is, this is a reason it's over, like, you know what I mean? His, his career is over because the knees are, are bad, like, he's not going to. He's playing in Europe? Well, we played, played against Benfica. And uh, the talk was it? Yeah, uh, Ericsson was the manager at the time. Yeah, and Ericsson was the yeah. manager, and the talk was that he was going to make an offer for me after it, you know. And, uh, Unbelievable. Right, uh, and so we played on the Wednesday, we went down to Dundalk on the Sunday, and uh, just a, a bit typical league area tackle, we big Peter Eggles, like a big centre half, just come on, just hit me from the side, like you know what I mean, and hit the knee, like you know, but it was one of them. It wasn't empty, you know what I mean? It was just one of them tackles that could have, could have went anywhere. Like. Mm. Played on, scored the match, but started to give me a bit of bar nearly on the match. And uh, just tried to get treatment on it, wasn't healing, sent me for x rays, not showed up. And then eventually they, they sent me the hull at the time. It was, mm. the, it was the, the top knee surgeon in uh, England at the time over the hull. I might all that talk at the time. Uh, uh, so so when, when they went the hull, John Mondoro, I mean, he flew back. He got, I got the operation, John flew back because we were playing the next day. I can't remember who we were playing. And uh, I come back. By the time I reached, I come back the day, it was all over that gone. 
He stole it. It's funny. What, what age was that? Around 28? It was 20, it was 21 at the time. 21? 21. Just turned 21. And uh, you're told that's it, like, you know what I mean? So that's basically once you go on from there, they, they're like, you know. Aye, aye, they'd be scoring in your debut, you know. Aye, so everything so else, you know, can't be an ordinary, that, can't uh, everything. And then all of a sudden, it's just gone, like, and you're saying, it, it, it wasn't handled, it wasn't handled well by the club at the time, you know what I mean? Aye. And I'm not pointing the finger at anybody and saying who, who, who did this. I think everybody, I think everybody tried to... Medical, medically wise? Well, I think medi medically wise and I think uh, personal wise as well too. I think people were too quick to, to go, no, I, this, this is it, like, you know what I mean? It's, aye, aye. Instead of giving that a bit of time and stuff like this, you know, a bit of thought and more... We'll work with him here and try and get him. Yeah, try, try and rehabilitate him and make him stronger and stuff like that, you know what aye. I mean? So it was more or less Europe scoring his debut, Europe up here and then nothing. Nothing after it's, you know what I mean? They finished the nothing. season and they, they basically said to me, look, we'll give you a test. I'm like, I don't want a test. I'm like, but, it, but it was talking and it, you know what I mean? I was talking, you need to take the figure because blah, blah, blah. And I was like... Is it too soon for me? Is well, it that, 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 even think it? Uh, well, well, because you were, because you're young and you're easily influenced, uh -huh. and you think, you think people's looking out for you. And I'm sure they were looking out for me. I'm sure at the time they thought that was the right thing to do, like you know what I mean. But as I said before, I think they, they should have they should have given it more time. You know, they should have given it more time and should have looked at our avenues to try and try and get you the way you were. Even even not even that yet. I think if we had to just give me a year out. No, I mean, I mean speaking to somebody after it, uh, uh, an orthopedic nurse. She worked on the top lung. Hospitals, private mm -hmm. hospitals, and she was a friend of my father's, or my father's uh, friend, sister was. So she, she said, Look, we were going to bring him over here to rehabilitate him and all because we're going, I don't know, man, this is. So they are more or less doing the toil land. They, 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 they do the toil land too quickly, you know. It's finished. Mean? Aye. It's finished. There's nothing we can be, do, uh, nothing can be done. And then when that hits the papers and uh, media, uh, well, that's everybody it. else. Everybody else. And you're thinking about it. Uh, and you're thinking, oh, that's happening. Well, that's, that's what happened. I mean, he starts like that. Ah, well, don't want to end up in a wheelchair. Don't Aye. want to be in all Aye. this. Don't want to be you know, running around crutches and stuff like that. Mm. And basically, like, you know, finished the season with Gary. Now, come back and played. Come back and played for four months. Mm. See you know what I mean? They, they, they got me in because they were struggling. We, we, we won the treble the year before and we were struggling because we lost that we lost about four or five matches. We, we had a nine point lead at one time and Pats beat us in the brand one and brought it down to six and then we lost the following week to UCD or somebody like that, I can't remember. So we were we, 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 we tailed off, you know what I mean? So we, McLaughlin brought me back and the team. There was a wee shot in the air, but at that stage, you know, Pats had got away from us, and uh, they they just about held on, like they beat us with three points. Like, so we, we could have won the treble two years in a row, we had a bad luck, we lost the League Cup final, and then we were beating the semi-final, they Bray, right. down to Bray. So at the end of that season, uh, that thing, mate, there, there's a test on one, there's a photo of me walking in a Bradwell, people say I'm crying, I wasn't crying, I was like, I was going, what am I doing? What am I doing? Well, this year, like, this, this, you, started, you knew in your head you weren't ready. I wasn't ready. No, I wasn't ready. You know what I mean? And the thing about it is, you see, once that that match was over, Mickey, and this is a, this is the thing about it. I see nobody, nobody after. You know what I mean? I was just that's you now. You know, sort of like sort, sort yourself. They, draw, they do the crowd in. The, the hype was there, and then both no aftercare. No aftercare. No, like, you know what I mean? So. So it was just basically like, you know, you know yourself, you're, you're 21, like, you know, all right, you, you, you can take injuries and you can Aye. turn parts of it and all, you know what I mean? But I think, yeah, what, what there's never There's never once in your head you're thinking, that's me, I'll never kick a ball again. No, you know. no. Well, see, my, my mother was like, you know, oh, you'll be grand. And she was, she was going to patty peel petals and all, and then my sandwiches and being <laughs> tea and all, like, you know what I mean? Bringing, the, right. bringing that, the mat down and all, rolling aye, it and all, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so basically, I, like, but I, I, went, I went off a rails, like, you know what I mean? I totally lost, I lost my way. Like, Did you, know? you go back to where you were when you come back after Forest? Was it the sort of same way of thinking? Well, well I, 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 when I got back from Forest, I wasn't, I didn't drink the end, you know what I mean? Aye, aye. I didn't drink, I was just basically, you were, you're older, you're older. And, I, and that, 
the easy thing to do was go to the bar and you know what I mean. Aye. And uh, for about a, for about a year, year and a half, that was basically what it was like. You know what I mean? Or well, everybody will tell you, everybody in Derry was doing it. You know what I mean? I were out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday night. But I was getting up in the morning, and I didn't want to get up in the morning. You know what I mean? And it was like, ah, oh, can't. And he did, and he didn't realise you were Aye, that, suffering with depression or yeah. anything like that. But you know, obviously you were just constantly was, feeling down. Just down. It was just the worst feeling in the world. Like, way, way back, way back then, that was never spoken about. Not, not at all. You know, I mean, after that, you'll be alright. You'll be grand. You'll be grand. You'll be grand. Right. You'll be, be, right. yeah. you be grand. Like you know what I mean. And <clears throat> I went to see. I went to see this woman, Billy Beals. Faith Healer. Uh, Faith Healer, Billy. I went to see Billy. And uh, I just, I, there was one there, I think, so I'll, go, I'll go to keep my man happy, like, you know what I mean? Uh, so uh, how did that, that benefit you? I, I, I remember going to see her, like, you know, so scared, like, I was so skeptical of all that stuff, like, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'm, I'm not the most holy person in the world, like, you know, even though my mother was and, and stuff like that, you know? And I went down to see her just out of courtesy because she wanted to see me. She was friends with, with, with my aunt and stuff like that. And, uh, mm -hmm. So I went down to see her and I came out a different person. At the first meeting? At the first meeting. Different person. And uh, I was like... Oh. Like more positive and more... more positive and stuff. Positive and... Uh, and just I, a change of voice, just well, a change well, of... Well, I, I went to America. I went to America to play as well too. For... Uh, for crowds... Uh, Chicago asked me over and they said, we'll, we'll look after your knees, stuff like this and all. So, like, I've been to Hull, been to England, been to France, and everyone, I've said, oh, your knees bad, but, you know, I wouldn't take a chance with it, stuff like this and all, you know. Mm. I went down to Barry Beals, and, you know, she's, as you know, she's a faith leader, and she's, she's a very holy woman, stuff, she's got a rest of these days, right? But, uh, she put her hand on my knee, and I could feel warmth, warmth the whole way through. My leg, you know what I mean? And she said, You'll be grand, man. You'll be grand. See, about three weeks later, I was playing a match out in Calais, and my knee went. My knee went. And they had to carry me off the pitch. Mm. They had to carry me off the pitch. My knee locked, my leg locked. Talk me to Elton Galvin. They talk about a bone out that size there. Eh? That's really, it must be that size. And, uh, I've had no bar since with my knee after, you know. Not, 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 not it's give me stiffness and stuff like uh, that, but uh, never. And you know, it was enough to get you back playing. It was enough to get me back playing indoor football. That's what I. And that's how you. That's basically what it is. That's how you. If you had any inklings up there, niggles at all. Aye, I don't. I, 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 I had no one for this to even think of senior football or D and D aye. football or not. Indoor football was all I wanted to do at yeah, that stage, like you know. And that's and like that people, you back people, on. people think you know what I mean. That's I uh, know why. But but if you it know, it worked. You know, it worked for it, she she was it was unbelievable. Like you know what I mean. I don't know people roll their eyes and tell about things, but it's at that time. And because there's professionals tell me, medical professionals tell me. Aye. You know. Aye, and you you're, you're, you're everywhere. America, you're in France. Paris. You know. England. I'll be Gilman. They hit you in wheelchairs. Wheelchairs. And if you, if, you, if you keep playing, at the time you're 25, 26, you'll be in a wheelchair and your leg will be, you have to take the knee off and blah, 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 and all. And, uh, well, fair, knee, fair play to you for, for taking a different direction on it. And, aye. You know what I mean? A wee bit of belief in yourself as well. Well, I, I think I think it was more, I would think it was more, more for me more than anything. You know what I mean? Because I'd given up. I'd basically given up. Like, you know, I just went. At that stage, I was like, oh, I was just, hair was all over the place, like, you know what I mean? Couldn't get focused on anything, I was just, yeah, you know, and, and he did, as you say, 30 years ago, he, nobody talked about depression and nobody talked about, and he didn't know what depression was, Aye. you know what I mean? But, but looking back on it all now, it's definitely, you know Aye, what I mean? because it was, was because the, your expectations yourself as way up here, you get a wee test for the glory and everything, and then... Well, it's just taking away from me, taking away from me, and then you realise what I don't want to do with the rest of my life. But you know, uh, that was, that was aye, you're hurting so well, well, then 
within six months of that happening, it's same for over. Aye. You know what I mean? So that's how quickly you um, know, your your thing goes. Like you know, you go like, I ah, well, play indoor football. Right, play for Man of Ireland. Sorry, uh, give us a go. Now. Just taking an arm, really. Yes, like you know, well, you're playing summer cups against better uh, players. Uh, As you know yourself, you know you got the summer cups. You're playing against better players, and then I was playing down at Mount Crana and uh, playing against the Swaps again. And Big Roy was down. Over that time, we just just come up that early sleep. Uh, that's right. And uh, he, he said to me, "I have a match with you, fancy coming up?" And I said, "I have no more. Like you know what I mean? I will give it a go." Basically, a couple of pounds a week. It was not. Was that way back when? That, that was 92, 93. 93. 93. Uh, 92, 93. But I didn't train. 93. I never trained that year, though. And people turn around and say, that's because you're a lazy. Don't so like, but, but I, I was just afraid they'd do too much with a knee. Yeah, I was kind of out of weight. And uh, I was playing. I started playing with Ola. And, uh, a few players like that. Like Paul McGrath. Well, see, that, that's it. Uh, McGrath. Just, just left themselves to the, uh, the game. He, he, McGrath or somebody else can remember too. He was playing with me. Just don't want to take that chance. Well, I don't want to take that chance. People say, oh, you're just too lazy. But I was like, I was fearful, like, you know what I mean? Uh, I had too much on it. You knew what it meant, the, if you were to get injured? Aye. Uh, no, you could have went through it again. The break down again and stuff uh, like that. So it was basically just, you just, uh, <clears> you don't want to play matches. Oh, I'm not full any young football, I must have been. I just played it, you know what I mean? And you see, see, see that year, I mean, that was the most important year. 92, 92. That was the most yeah. important year. Most people talk to me about making my debut for Derry and all and stuff like that. The most important year of my life was 1992, going to Oma. Most important because. Given that opportunity? Well, see, given the opportunity again, you know, just they play football. Just they go back, they play football, and then all of a sudden, you just well, your belief starts coming back, and you know what I mean. The belief comes back, the, the, the hunger comes hunger back, for it, and uh, the enjoyment comes back. Aye. You know, I and I was happy, like, and I loved it. I loved it up there with Roy, and that was it was a maddest year ever. It was a maddest year, like you know what I mean. Like was good watching it. Well, you know the boys, like you John Kelly and Devin McCall was up, and Marty Morrison was up, and who else? There was a few, there was a few hours. Barry Patton came and all that, you know what I mean? And uh, we were never going to win anything, you know what I mean? But we got a couple of good results. And I ended up scoring 25 goals that season. Right, that time, yeah. 25 goals that season. And I, I tell people I never yeah. changed once. Like, I think you would play 43 games. Aye. Aye. 43. I played 43 games. And they're the, the medical professional team you were in or whatever else. Hmm. But then, 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 then it, got, it got a bit tricky and because, because you had a, a testimonial and people at Derry thought you might have let them down, you're coming back again, you know. It was a bit, it was a bit, uh, it was a bit tricky around that time, like, you know what I mean? But I think people just realised they're lucky. Just let them go and do what they want to do. Just let them go. Like, you know what I mean? And I was, I was happy, I had to stay at Roma. I loved it, I, I had to stay at Roma. But by the end of the season, that's what they say. Where well, you're most, you play your better football, you're most happiest, and that's. No, well, that's it. But I, 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 but, but by the end of the season, then you were turning on good performances. I was playing well, and uh, scored a few goals. And then that stage, yeah, you poured it down and played to and all, all over the same thing. You know, right? you know what I mean? So, big Roy had left. Roy had left. And, and Keezy took over. Keezy took over. And uh, not getting on well with Keezy. I, I, I enjoy playing with Keezy. But uh, I, I had more or less agreed to go to Glen's War. You know what I mean? And Fee was after, agreed. After Roy had left? After Roy had left. Well, it was Keezy was doing that, doing that thing, right? So I had more or less agreed to go to Glen's War. And uh, I was going to go away. As you say, no phones or nothing. So I was going away for a week. And come back up the road and Robert Strain, who was the manager at Glen Torre at the time, he was like, right, we're going to try and get this boat done now. And in between times, pre-season friendly up in Don I remember it. I went down the road with keys on, he goes, right, there's a change of scene. I said, well, what's happening now? Is there somebody else come up here? I went, who, who is it? He said, there you're not going to sign you again. And Roy Coyle was the manager at the time and I went, right, okay. 
I was like, Jesus, I don't know what they do here. Then, you know what I mean? Aye. Don't know whether they go back or not. Back on the year, that's it. That's back on the, the, the whole thing. Aye. You're back on the, the goldfish bowl again. Aye. 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 You know what I mean? Aye. And I, I, just, I just started going out with Pollock, I think. You know right. what I mean? So it was basically, you know, you were going, what all this year? It's a change of life here. It's a change of life. You're back on the, that thing again. People will be saying you're not the same player yeah. as you were, and, you know, all this year. So I went away and I had a good think about it. The doc, he was an assistant of him. He more or less persuaded me, you know what I mean? Had a chat with Sturdy Gold, Big Curry and stuff like that there. And he said, you'd be grand, you know what I mean? So basically I just come back. You went back on there for, uh, what was the fee? I think it was 10 grand, grand, was it? I think it was 10 grand, oh, yeah. eh? One big of 10 grand, eh? But geez, I think you need to go way back in. That's, that's good money, like. Well, it's good. it was good money for a little bit, considering. No. Consider it over paying you 50 quid a week. Aye. Over paying you 50 quid a week and you were lucky. It was meant to be a couple of hundred. Aye, aye, aye. I was down the back of the I will say no more about that. But, but uh, that, that was, was good fun. money for them then, like, you know what aye. I mean? Because it kept being home and stuff like that. But, uh, but at the end, the end it's, it's just the old. It's just that big yeah, change again. Big change again. You were thinking, like, I want this with you again. No, but uh, there, there's people, there's people, like, Play football, like you be able to play guys that have it mapped out from day one. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, right up till I retire. Uh, I have no don't plan for anything. Uh, you know what I mean? My whole life was basically <coughs> fly my seat of your pants, like you uh, know what I mean, and just hope, hope it works. And uh, sometimes uh, it's not. It's not. Well, it's, 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 it's it was my nature. You uh, know what I mean? Lie. It was my nature. That's the way I was. I wasn't. I, was I think going, then you're not you're not too demanding yourself. No, you're not giving yourself that extra. No, why? Extra that, 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 that's a way. Pressure. That's a way I even. That's the way I play. Life, no. life. Like, you know, when I played football, you know, see, look, back just enjoyment. You just want to I, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure I drove you know, managers and players, and bombers and things with the way I played. Aye. You know what I mean? Look back on it now, but at the time you think I'm not doing that at all. You know, it's just. But looking back on it now, you probably go, Jesus, I wish you had more things like you're going to die. I wish you had more things like you're going to die. Well, that's something, you know. But I always, 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 I Takes a lot of pressure off him. Right? Takes a lot of pressure off him. But but that stage, yeah, Derry, Derry were a different, different club. You know what I mean? Aye. All the boys that I knew had gone. All the Aye. all the, the the directors, all the, the different people around the club. It was all changed. There was a new Aye. board and new manager. Coyler was a. You know, I mean, Coyler is alright, like, but he's a. I was on pre-season, we. He's he's hard. Aye, are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Shawnee McLaughlin. Aye, I would. I might, I might get up to Shawnee's one more time. Me and him, do their time. Well, I don't mean, I don't mean before. I don't mean before that because <laughs> we Shawnee. I know you don't play Kevin Stephen, you know. Kevin. Bad Stephen, no. We Sammy Ramsey, no. No. Sammy, we Shawnee and. No. And uh, Devine and who else? McCall and I played by Keith Lynch and all the other players. Aye, it was actually. Jimmy McCurdy's. Oh, well, Jimmy, you were playing Jimmy's team below that, that's right. Jimmy ran the team below that. But so I, I come up, he still had Stuart there, he still had Mike Kearney was there, Heaney was there. Uh, McKeon had left at that stage, I can't remember. There wasn't too many left, you know, from my time before. Uh, you just seen a wee bit of a change. Well, there, there was a whole team because Coyler was under pressure and it was just, it was just a battle of royale, you know what I mean, between him and senior players, Aye. and I come on it, and I was like, oh. You put like a man Mooney up in, doesn't he? Well, oh, Mooney left, Mooney's left, and, uh, and he brought in, he brought in all these boys from England, Scotland, stuff like that, McLaughlin, McLaughlin, St. Paul McLaughlin, and uh, uh, it, was, it was just a mess, the club was just a mess at the time, like, you know what I mean? And uh, Coyler had, was having it out with Kearney, and, Sturdy and boys like that, there, you know, and he was he was digging them every week. Aye. And, uh, certain players, no well, well, certain players, and then I got this stage where he, he suspended, he suspended two or three players, and I was like, just for, for, just for speaking like, out, like you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and eventually I didn't get the sack. So Tony, Tony, come on in, 
Tony took over. Brought it back the other week, was it? Tony brought it, brought it back again. And that season, like you know what I mean, we there, there was a top six and a, a split that season. And I was I was fighting my feet again, the year of football. I was really wasn't having a good year, like you know what I mean. I scored, I scored a few goals, but I wasn't having a good year. See, see even then before you went, see, see the changeover from your bunch of back and out of League Ireland and I see. Did you find League of Ireland that we built more? Oh, I tougher. Oh, I, I, hundred percent, I, because. F- Maybe that's why you were enjoying your football well, every day. Well, you were. Well, well, the thing about it was you're older. You're under no aye, pressure. Aye. I mean, you're under no pressure. You're playing in front of your people. You're playing in front of 250 people every week, and you're bit nobody cares. Jesus, what was that? Well, at that time, there was you were still getting seven or eight thousand, like you know what I mean, and uh, massive crowd. And then all of a sudden, you come back, and people are just spotlight straight on you straight away. And I had changed as a player by by that stage because of my injury. You know what I mean? And obviously, a person. I was a person as well too. and you're a bit more mature, stuff like that, but yeah. you, you, I had a chance because I couldn't do that with the run when I was half when I was younger. But they, like, you know, they like, expected you to be doing well, well, you know what, chains and, and then you're, people are going, ah, well, he's not the player he was, and stuff like that. Mm. So I, but I had chains, I'd become a better all round player, you know what I mean? Aye. All round. Just more mature. More mature play. player and uh, stuff like that. But Tony, as I say, Tony came out, mm. galvanised the place, we won the League Cup, or we lost the, the FA Cup final. Uh, and we finished fourth or something in the league, you know what I mean? So th- that season then was 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 good, like you know what I mean? And well, it ended up good, but I I don't think Hamstring in the league cup final. So uh, my time at the semi final and the the, the the FA cup final, come on, I'm strong, you know what I mean? But they got me on the pitch to the final, like you know what I mean? I might as well get started. Well, because the hamstring had gone, like you know what I mean. <clears throat> but they just wanted me on the field, like you know what I mean. And God rest them, by crack, by crack. Uh, <laughs> we're a bit one only slag of the final, and I know we're getting by crack was our best player on the pitch that day. But he must have had three chances. You know, he could have won us a cup, like you know. But he was our best player that day, and a stick we gave him. Ah, oh, it's like we and a stick he got from yeah. the fans, like you know yeah. what I mean. But he was still the best player in the place, but it, it always sticks to his stick with me. Ah, oh, he's one of the best, like, you know what I mean, one of the best. But then, then Tony, totally, uh, the, no, the, the, the following season, then I got myself fit. My Alex was born that year, in the summer, and then... Uh, another change in direction? Well, another well, change again, you know what I mean? I was getting married then the following year, stuff like that, so... There was everything was... Within the space of two years, three years, you go on from there to up there, and it was all, but but it never went down again, you know what I mean? It never got to that stage where it was too low, it was always middling. But Tony, we, we got the pre season, we got, got a few players on, and blah blah blah, and then it just never happened, you know. Tony lost his, Tony lost the job, man, uh, around right. October, November, so on, and then Felix came on. You won player of the year, you won player of the year too, 95? 95, that season, that same season. That's the same season, aye. Yeah, well, Phyllis, Phyllis come on. Phyllis come on, Maggie, and he, he came from Corrine. And he signed Harry from Mars. He signed Storky from Corrine, and he signed Paul Kennard from Bohemians. So he made four, three, four signings, and they brought Dylan from Port of mm. And from from uh, November to April, me and Harry scored about, between us, scored about 25 goals between us or something like that. Harry's what was Harry looking for me? Do you know something? I've always I asked. I mean, I mean, I mean, go and watch him, but I he never really, it was like yourself and other Aye. players. That you, do you know the thing about it? And it's, I've always asked us who was my best partner and all. See, see, when I was younger, I always used to school was speak or learning or, or, uh, Gary Beckham, Gary's mentioned. <clears throat> See, as I get older, you know who the best partner I had that suited my name was Harry? Harry. He was doing all the running. <laughs> oh, he was so quick, Mickey. So that's a people. They so he quick was so 10, quick. 15 yards, boom. And I used to just drop on them. And I used to go away, just from above the top and between people and, and between gaps. And I was good at that. I was good at seeing just things. Seen it? Aye. 
and 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 whoever I was playing with, I knew. And see that season, Jesus, he was like lighting that. And see, see if he got away with me. You weren't yeah. listening. Now Harry will tell you himself. Technically, he wasn't the best Aye. player in the world. Like he, he Aye. wasn't good at hold up, and he, he had a good he touch. Was, and that's that was happening. But see if you can't come away, it's a goal. You know Aye. what I mean? And that season, me and him, and we won that. We won the, lost the league in the last day of the season during that goal. But I ended up one of the player of the year and the Saturday Raiders player of the year, the Opal player, I won it, right? That's right, eh? And what happens was that. How'd that, how'd that do you feel? Personally? Well, personally, it was, it was, it, it was a big. Uh, personally, it was a, a big thing for me after everything had gone through. Aye. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was the first, I was the first Derry player they won. First Derry man. You know, Dylan, Dylan and Donald O'Brien had won it. Playing with Derry before. I don't know. Donald had won a play with Derry in '92. And, uh. Jesus. Uh, but that's when it was always missing. Donald had won it for a That's all that was. <laughs> but, uh. No, but Donald had won it and, and Dolan had won it, but I was the first Derry man they won it. Aye. Like, I was the first Derry man they won the Young Player of the Year. And the Player of the Year. And, and they won it. You had to be standing out Well, you had to be standing. We, we, we had a good season that, that year. Like, I was. I was I, that that 94 95 was the best football I played with Gary. Was it your second thing. or third stamp well, back? Well, it's, it's my second stamp back. Second. So, won that there, won the thing we, you know, the pre season, and then it sort of all went pear shit then because there was stuff going on with me and Felix, like, you know what I mean? And, uh, so, within, again, within. Four months of one and all that. What do you think? That was just a clash of parents. Well, it was. It was like a bad day. You. Uh, well, me, me and Felix were always close. Aye. Like, me and, we're, we're close now again. Like you know what I mean. We're, we're, Football uh, does something to people. You know. Oh, it's, like it's, a, it's, but as a manager, I I didn't get the way Felix managed. Aye. You know what I mean. Our boys will tell you. I was good for. Good for me, mm. you know what I mean? They're good for them. That's but that's the way it was. But, but it was just, Felix wanted me to do things I couldn't do, you know what I mean? And I was like, and I had butted heads with him, like, and I said, I can't do this. And uh, eventually, then, yeah, I just got this stage, yeah, where me and him just broke down communication, like, and I. Uh, too much friction. Well, there was too yeah, much going on, and then, and then I just uh, said, right, I've had enough, like, you know, I'm not a pillar transfer request. Oh, you like, yourself then? Well, it was sort of, it was sort of between the two. It was like, you know what I mean? And, like a mutual uh, thing. Aye, you know that, that was. You know what I mean? Well, it was he wasn't going to. He, he was, was never going to tell you to stay. Well, he wasn't going to tell me to stay, and he wasn't going to go. Aye. So, so I said, right, that, that's me. I'll go. So I ended up going to Grand Tour again for an hour record fee, like you know. Thirty-seven thousand. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. I think it was thirty-eight and a half at the time, yeah. But and again, like you know what I mean? It was. You go from there to here, and, and, and I never wanted to leave there. Like, you know what I mean? That was a, that was a wreck for me to leave, leave there. Like, you know what I mean? And I just couldn't, couldn't get my head around it. How I'd gone from being the player of the year five months before, oh, they the big soul, do you know what I mean? Aye. But then the, the years that you find out it was the balance books and stuff like Aye. that, you know what I mean? Which they had told me at the time, I would have probably been understood, well, understood a bit better, like, you know Aye. what I mean? But I never would have went to the Murray Garden Club. No. No, you know what I mean? I never I would No, I think always leave me, do you? Well, it was. I, 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 I'm not having a go with anybody from there, a place for our clothes. Aye. Like, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't have a go with Michael Duffy or Fats or or oh, Pete Jarvis or anybody that that that's, 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 that's their that's their decision. I that but I, but I could, I could, like, there was, was literally area clothes come up, they buy me, and I said, no. I couldn't, I couldn't have a doubt played against Derry. Against Derry? I don't couldn't have done it. It would, it would have broke my heart. You know what I mean? They would have, they see me bits and see me friends standing, Aye. watching me playing for an hour club. Like as I say. I've been in, I've been in the Brandy well and here and the likes of people shouting at me, shouting at Fats and shouting at Cobble. Cobble's banter, but so much stuff. Oh, well that's, yeah. see, well that's it, like, you know what I mean? And it's, it's not even that there. I just couldn't, I couldn't see, I couldn't, like me, to myself, like, you know, they're, they're like because of my dad, because of everything else, and the, the, the way that I got myself. 
I said to me, oh, I'd never, never play in the Brad all against Derry. Uh, I know Peter and all that, Peter got absolutely slaughtered. Like, you know Judas? I mean? Judas, he made that, you know what I mean? And I was terrible, and he's fouled me and everything else, like, you know what I mean? But it wasn't even that there. It wasn't the fact that I, I could handle a, a stick. It was just that I would, I would have broke. I just went against everything you stood for. Everything you stood for, like, you know what I mean? Because, you know, we, we were always offered, we were always offered more money to go everywhere else. Uh, like, you know what I mean? Even later on in my career, like you know what I mean, but I still stay with Derry. Like, you know, the likes of me and Hardy and David Doherty and boys like that, there, like we love Panama and Block, we just love playing with Derry, and that's the way it was. Like, you know what I mean, we just love that. And that's and, and I went to Glen Tour, and I, and then like Glen Tour were absolutely brilliant to me. But do you not find that name at times when you're not from the area, you like saying with the ball and it was through the well, aye, through the well. Uh, you know, but the thing about it was, like, I let them down, like, you know what I mean? I let them tore down, because I, 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 I wasn't fully no, about it. Aye, aye. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't. Now, you won a couple of them and scored a winner in the semi final at Mary's Cup, and we won the cup and all, and stuff like that. But he just. Because my heart was just, just wasn't on it. Aye. You know what I mean? It just wasn't. I was. It used to break my heart on the HR on a Tuesday or third, no, when I put in five aye. minutes to the show minutes. You know what I mean? I used to get in the house at 11 o'clock at night and uh, go and play a match on Wednesday night and you're back and uh, I go to No, you stuck it out, like, you know what I mean? And I, I, I still would have stuck it out. I think, I think as it was going on, I was getting used to it. Aye. You know, as it was going on. Aye. But then, pre-season, we won the Aries Cup. Back in the pre-season, first couple of weeks, get a phone call, they say, would you be interested in coming back to the Aries? <laughs> <laughs> back and forward. I got forward, like, and you come back. That was your, that was your third stunt. That was your third stunt, back. Eh? So anybody at the edge, like, he, yeah, he's always. Who's the manager at the time, man? Well, Felix was Felix the manager. Well, well, I got a phone call from a friend of mine's who would also be friendly with Felix, you know. Aye. And I hadn't spoken to Felix since I left, like, you know. And uh, the next thing it was, would you be interested? In mm -hmm. Come back there. I said no. I said not like me. And he said, I said, well, who's asked? He said, well, Felix is asked. And I said. No, I'm not interested, like, you know what I mean? So eventually there was about a two or four one Aye. over the next week or so. Me and Felix met up and we agreed, like, you know, things happened. But I knew it was never going to work out. You know what I mean? I came back and... I came back. Well, well there you gave them the money back they Glen Tour, but they paid, paid me and they also got Deggy on the bargain, like, you know what I mean? Right. So, uh... Who was on the round the club then? Well, Peter was, still there. Peter was still there, Curly was still there, he'd say yeah, the Dykes, Hargy had just broke through the team, right. Gary Beck, I think, man, they were all young, it's like, you know Aye. what I mean? And, uh, you need the likes of Ryan Coy and Ryan Semple, you know, it was all basically a really like, young squad. Well, it was a new, really, really young squad, like, when I signed back, like, you know, mm. James Kelly had signed from, Sorry. Kelly was, ah, oh, Kelly was, left side of oh, him, great player. You had Higgs the air as well too. So you had Felix, or you had Paul Haggerty, and Peter was playing on the field then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Peter, mm -hmm. well, Peter was, so it was Dicey, and Gavin Dice and Paul Haggerty. Mm -hmm. But you're coming up, you're going, oh, it's going to be a bad table battle here, like, you know what I mean? Uh, this is going to, be a, it's going to be a bad table, you're going to uh, struggle uh, here. Uh, but, experience. But, but uh, what I didn't know was a couple of weeks before I signed, they had a meeting. See, they'd already had pre season, I'd already had pre season with Glen Tour, and they had a meeting. and They asked everybody who who, who would want us the league. They asked like, Felix or Brown, all the players, and every, everyone we'll wanted to advance. And they said, Well, get we'll want the league. <laughs> so uh, I come back on, signed again, and uh, what happened was first match of the season of a ball buffet, fell and broke the elbow. <laughs> Fell over my flat and broke the elbow, was out for two months. <laughs> oh, jeez, talk about your luck, like, you know what I mean? I was out for about six weeks, I got back too early. And, uh, at that time, the, the team was flying, they got off to a good start, mm. you know what I mean? And then Hargy, Hargy was playing off front, I mean, we, uh, Gary Beckett, Hargy was scoring goals for fun, and Beckett was playing well, and I was out of the team, like, you know what mm. I mean? And then by the time I come on there, I was, I come back and just before Christmas and by that stage I'm, I'm one of them boys, they see most, I'm out for about three or four weeks, my fitness just goes. Aye. And it takes me about three months to get, and the way I'm only get, get match fitness back again, like Aye. you know what I mean?
But fortunately enough, the, the, the boys, they, they, they had a good part of my part of good rugby yarn, and uh, we were on around second or first, I can't remember, up on Monday Christmas, and I think, you know what I mean? So, you know, was your third stand back back up? Well, the th third stand last at the end, I retired. Right. That last at the end, seven, seven years. <clears throat> seven years, like, you know. So, uh, we. Like we won the What was accomplished in in that last time? Well the last time we, we won the we won the league, which was the last time we won, won the league. We, um won a couple of league cups. The club had really changed then. The club had changed massively then. It was they were scraping the barrel and like you know what I mean. Felix had left, Felix could have that great administration. I uh, uh, Club, they were nearly, nearly gone, like, you Aye. know what I mean? They nearly Aye. out of business. Only Kevin Mahan. Kevin Mahan doesn't get enough credit. Aye. I might come taking the reins at that oh. time, mate. Kevin doesn't get, doesn't get enough credit for uh, for the, the the role that he has in Derry City since then. People talk about Steve and Kevin. He's a quiet man, but... Um, Ke Kevin, 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 Kevin took over, and uh, he basically, me and Paul Hagrid and Peter Hargy, uh, Eamon Doherty. Resources were short. Short. He was doing everything. He was playing a job. It was Paddy McLaughlin was running off at the time. Paddy was playing Darren McCready. Aye. Darren McCall. You know, bringing loan signings on. No, there was no money. The place was absolutely... Busted. Busted. Like, go on. And Kevin kept a place f competitive for... Now, as I say, while Felix wasn't good for me, Kevin man, was brilliant for me. Mm. Kevin was brilliant for me. Kevin knew how to man manage me. The best. You need to get the best of you. Like, and, and they have five years, like, you know, we, we, <coughs> we finished mid table or we finished the above mid table nearly every season. We'll keep up on a couple of league cups and they won the FAI Cup as well. Mm. And uh, we had out mid years with the team as well, Joe Hartman, like, you know what I mean? <coughs> but and they have five years, like, you know, geez, like John Hume had to bring Barcelona and Real Madrid, they gave us a fight. Like, uh, and then, like, and, and Kevin, Kevin put, a, put so much in it, never gets a credit that he's the, the, he, he deserves, you know what I mean? And because like we were, we were punching well above our weight, like you know what I mean, for what we had, like you know what I mean? And uh, well, up and down, oh, you know, geez, Frank, you, 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 you see Shelburne at Bowes at the time? Right now. Uh, go back 20 years, they were paying their players a thousand pound a week. Yeah. You know, a thousand pound a week, 20 odd years ago. <laughs> Yeah, crew the boys like Amber, the boys, and we were getting a hundred and fifty quid a week, and, and people were still expecting us to. I challenge. Challenge, we think. I mean, and, and people didn't see everything that was going on behind the scenes, like you know. But uh, <clears throat> but I enjoyed. I enjoyed the, the first, the, the last four years. Came took over in ninety eight, and from ninety eight to two thousand two, I played really some really good stuff. It's come near the end of my career, but I knew it was. We were still getting the turn, you know what I mean? We were still getting the turn, I mean, people were still, still able to, you know, all our teams were still fearful of me and stuff like that. So then I had all the young boys playing, punching off me, and like, you know what I mean? Which was really good, like, you know I'm sure your time, each spell, and Derry Lane, young players and the Rooney, you know, they would have learned a lot off you. Oh, I 100%. You know. 100%. Like, I, I, I talk, to, I talk to some of them now, like, you know what I mean? Like, like I helped bring Kieran Martin. Mm. Like, Kieran, I'll tell you, like, you know, Kieran Deary, mm. Gareth McLellan, you know, all the boys that were done there. Their influence just... Their influence, like, no, I was, I was there near the front, but like, Mark, for instance, Mark Farr, like, I had that have a great deal of influence on him. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? 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 Because I was nearly done. Like, the last year, the last year was there, I just got injuries. I mean, mm. just got injuries and injuries. Kevin, last his job. Kevin lost a job and then he brought Dermot Keeley and Gavin Dixon, you know. <coughs> and I remember, Keely, you know, Jesus, uh, where did he come from? Sligo, was it? Well, Dermot, Dermot had been out of, out of work since Shelburne and let him go a year before. And uh, Der, Der, Dermot was an R boy as well, too. He, he, he busted himself, you know what I mean? Uh, he just came in and Der, Dermot, tried to make a name for himself and well, Der, Dermot, upset a lot of things. Dermot was a great football man, brilliant football man. He won, like, he won the leagues we done that from Shelburne. And he was a great football man, but again, he was another boy who was past his best, you know what I mean? And I was too old to be sure of that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Dermot from just... Florida, people like, you know what I mean? And he didn't do it to me, but he, and I said, and I remember getting on a bus to Cork, and I said, they hardly asked me home. 
I said, I'm getting I've had enough. I said, I've had enough. I can't do it anymore. And I made my mind up. And we, uh, that, that was going to, we played, we were away for four days. We went to, we played Cove in the cup and then we had to play Cork in the league on a Friday. So we were away on Monday and, and I was like, my, uh, my Jack was only really young uh, at the time. And I was like, oh, geez, I can't do this anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, and I was struggling with injuries and, and, and I remember seen more like hard work, man. And I remember a young Barry Malloy, I played in the Brandable, playing with Drama. And I just said to myself, I was like, that's it. Nice. Couldn't get on a room. Like your legs are just gone, like you know. Uh, Whereas before you maybe able to keep enough to be right yeah, And it's a worse thing for a footballer. See when the legs go, Aye. it's a worse the thing. Always, the head's always there. there. The, the, the legs aren't going See the legs, the legs on that move, like you know what I mean? And I just went, ah, that's it. Aye. So basically, I made my mind up to, to finish that season. Not realizing that we were nearly relegated, you know what I mean? And that, my last match was against Van Herbst, where I scored a winner to keep us up, like so. Right. That's so right. that was that was how that that match ended. It was that was me done, like you know. Uh, but uh, did you come on there? You come on there with a bit of coaching. I, no, I, I don't coaching. I, I, no, I'll tell you. I, I went out to the hard board. I mean, my my eyes on the hard board. You were playing. I think I went out there. You were you were playing with Newton, you and Stevie. Yeah, uh, Johnson. Uh, and they asked me to come out because they were strolling, uh, and they asked me to come out for a couple of months just to get them back in their feet again, like uh, you know what I mean. But. See that time I finished playing, me I was I was just mentally shattered. You know what I mean? I just I just couldn't even I couldn't even look at a football or I just we all the travel and all the and all the injuries, all everything. That. everything. And, and, and everything. people say to me like, you know, why why did you like want that coach? And I said because see by the time I had finished, I was just I used to come up and say I made Darwin we Darwin McCready said to me here not so long. He said I used to watch you call her coming in. After every match, he said, You used to sit with a towel around your head for about an hour. In the dressing room. Just drained. Just drained. You know what I mean? I was just drained. Out. And I, I just got this season and said, No, I couldn't, I couldn't go into coaching now and do it for another 20 years. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and then, oh, and then, and then, you just say to yourself, No, I'm <laughs> better off just leaving it the day. Thing. So it's, I went out and managed our board for a couple of months and then I just said to the boys, I'm, that's me down there, like you know what I mean. So well, I put a wee, I put a wee thing we out and, and I was thinking around and a lot of people were saying, you know, a lot of people asking if it was there a possible day, would there be a possible day even in the management? Still the hall of Derry City. Uh, I still do. Uh, Not at all, no. 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 A lot of people have said that to me since they've known that you've been on the, the Folly podcast. It's crazy that you haven't been involved. Well, that's, that's the thing about it. People, people say to me, why do you do that? It's for some reason. That's the idea. They've never asked me to do anything. Like, well, you know, and that's... You know, a legacy with the club and, you know... But that, uh, when, people, when people mention Derry City, you're one of the top three names that they've mentioned in the same sense. Aye. But... but uh, look, I, no, the football moves on all the time. I mean, that's Aye, the way it is. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, think we, but w- w- one, one criticism I'll always have of Derry City is they're not good with their history. Aye. They're not a good football club with their history. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you go to Glen Tour and Dunfield, mm-hmm. uh, down the South, Sligo, Rovers, the way their ex players are treated. Yeah. The way their, their their legacy is, you know what I mean? They they, they do things with their ex players all the time and stuff like that. Well put put it like this, if you were to go down to down and oval. Oh yes. I'm asked I'm asked to go to Oval every mean? year. Every year. You know what I mean? They ask like that, me I'll go back to what I said. I think when you go outside your hometown club at times, it's Alexa, the wee Ben Dorries and Aye. you just feel a wee bit more appreciated. Well well, 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 well you know. I'll, put it, I'll put it like this here, like, I'm not talking about people right in the club, it's just the way the club is, and it's always been like that. It's 25 years since we won the, the, the league this year, and there's not a mention of anything even been done for it. Like, and players have been asking me, you know, boys. Fun Hearts have won one cup in 50 years, and they celebrate it. Night. And they celebrate every chance they get. Mm-hmm. And players that played with Coleraine 40, 50 years ago are brought up. They, they do things, 
Go before well, that. So the ice of it. You, you, you go over on Friday night. You'll be hard to watch to see an ex player. And it should be. Well, it should be the order it, it, it should be flooded. Moment. It should be flooded. It right. should have a wee section and just. 100%. Like, you know what I mean? It's just acknowledge. I you know, appreciate what was his own. Like, I know the football club has to move at times, so that. But you have yeah, to. It moves, you have on, to moves on, moves on, but you have they to hold on that wee bit of identity. Aye. No, you know, that, just, that, just it a, matter. That's right, just to give people a wee bit of thing. Because you're right, you know, and I look around on a Friday night there when I'm doing the match, that's really no fun. Like, you, know, and you might see one or two one week, but you'll not see them again for ages, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would myself, like, that's not right. Like, well, if you go to Oval, <clears throat> you'll see Bally Kasky in matches, Jimmy Cleary, uh -huh. Barney Bowers, Brad McCreary, uh, you'll, you'll see, you'll, you'll, all welcome back that club. They're all back, they're, they're all sitting on and they're all having their, uh, like, really, like, you know what I mean? They're all treating like it should be, it should be that. Is, but it but that's, be. you know, that should be. But that, that, that's, it's, it's not a new thing with Derry, it's always been the same. Right. Like, you know what I mean? It's uh, always been the same. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, here my dad, my dad was the first man to play in the World Cup. Mm. From Derry. From Derry. 1915. Same, same World Cup as Pelly made his debut on. He's the only man they can't in Derry City be an Irish League title. And there's not a plaque Nothing. or a memento to even <laughs> say that he played there. Do you know what I mean? Or the knowledge that he's done anything, you know what I mean? Am I saying to myself, well, is that down to me or is that down to the people that run the club like, you know what I mean? So I go well up. There's a lot of missing links, do you think? Oh, there's, there's, just, there's just you know, and, that, and that's that's the thing about it. I know like, I'm, not, I'm not having a go at them about Ryan getting the stadium named after him or Bart Farming. No. You know what I mean? But there's been players with so much history that don't even get a mention. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the likes of Matt Doherty, my dad, Felix, uh, you know, Jim, Jim McLaughlin, you know, it, it's, they're just forgotten about. And, you know, and for me, it doesn't sit well. Like, you know uh, what I mean? It doesn't sit well. and. And I've always, uh, and, and, and I see it to people. I still see it to people on the club, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's usually a lot of At least you're honest with yeah, it. Like, I, I, I was actually team. talking, I'm not mentioning the player's name, I was actually talking to his wife, she would have came to one of my classes, and and she was saying, like, and he was, he actually had his testimonial, testimonial with Derry. He played a wee bit outside Derry, and then blah, 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 he ended up going to one of the games and was asked for the, the fee to go. Oh, Aye. And he paid the fee and he came on and he says to his wife, that's the last time I'll get the brand. Right, right. Oh, that's a that's a thing. I, I can I can honestly say you know, like, I can honestly say my, the, 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 <clears> that uh, <throat> see if I was doing the matches we really for You wouldn't be there? I probably wouldn't be here either. I probably wouldn't be here either, you know what I mean? But the the, the radio thing I think is, I think Liam it's it's a sad thing, the likes of the likes of you especially being the the Dairy City icon. Aye. Aye. That aye. Because of them reasons. Aye. Aye. Oh, see, see the, the fans, the, the, look, the fans are... Aye. All the fans will be there. It's they, 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 they still... They are, they're like, They are, they, they still <clears throat> talk about me and they still think me, but mm. I think the club, the club as a, as a PR machine... It lost its way a wee bit. Well, they, they, they were always the same. Like, they were always the same. Mm. You know what I mean? Forgot about things. See, see if you go down to Sligo, you already have nothing. You can go to Sligo. You look around. You look around Sligo, you're all the ex players. All the ex players. All right. I know the, I know the, the club don't own the brand, they won't stop again. But there has to be something where they can acknowledge people. Like, you know what I mean? But as you say, give, give the players, ex players, a wee area. Mm. They say, say to them, come on over tonight and get a cup of tea. And, uh, Get a chat, and go, sandwich, 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 well, you know, Give I mean, him a hand walking away. 100% like, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, the next, you know, uh, 
or who else? Like my curries and Dundalk and stuff like that there, but never asked to come back for anything. You know, not even an acknowledgement of thing. Now it's 25 years since we last won the league, like you know what I mean, this year. I would be hopeful. Maybe this is a platform they well, say. I'll, 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 be, I'll be hopeful that somebody well, might. Well, they've brought the chairs out. Uh, well, they brought the chairs out. And as I said, uh, uh, <laughs> that, you know, that, that, I think it's nice, by the way. I think it's a nice ring. I do, definitely do. But uh, I, I just think that, you know, the club as a PR at times, you know, there's, there's too many. See, see, in my mind, there's too many people there. About themselves. 100% and don't know anything about, about, the, history about the history of the club, mm. you know what I mean? Or happy just to go, ah, well, yeah. that's the way it is, you know? Whereas you say, like, mm. I, I was six months, six months with Glen Torn. And you're treated as if you were six months. And I've asked years. every year, do you want to come up and mm. meet the boys and stuff like that? And, and I'm like, right, I'll try and get up, like, you know, I'm like, we'll try and get up this year because of COVID and stuff. Aye. But, you know, that that's... That, that's a saying in the club that, 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 doesn't, that, that I don't like. I've never liked, you know what I mean? I think I'm, I, as I go on my podcast, Liam, I think I'm going to come across that often, you know? Aye. Because I spoke to ex players, aye. The general talk, and I think they've got that wee bit of, oh, aye. A wee bit of a needle because, aye. you know, look at the glory days, I mean, the crowds and, mm. and the time they spent with the club. And then just to be, you're never, you're, you're never expected to be. Red chirping around every no, game. Not at it's all. just to be acknowledged in some capacity. Not just not to... But but people forget like, the Steve McKenna area was, was great uh, at the time. You know what I mean? But it was short lived. It was only yeah. it was only two years. It was only two years and people talk about it as if it was uh, see from the team made eighty eighty seven. We won the league twice. We won the FAA Cup three times. We won the league cup four times. We finished running up twice in the league. That was the glory days of Derry City. It wasn't the Stephen Kenny era. It wasn't the two years where you're playing great yeah, that Green, hmm. who wouldn't get a game in a <laughs> night out. You know what I mean? But uh, that's that was the glory years for for Derry City. For, for nine years, you were challenging or won on something every season. You know what I mean? Uh, and people forget that, you know what I mean? People forget that thing, right? the, the amount of players that sacrificed a lot they played for the club at mm -hmm. that stage because, you know, basically, you were out working, you were coming to training, you were going to Dublin, Cork, for not the same amount of money the boys in Dublin were getting paid, but you were still being asked to give the same commitment, you know? Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that mm -hmm. to me is needs, needs to be a song that they should look at, like, you know? Aye, uh, well, the wagon they say in the, over the, the next, the next, so many podcasts, I think I'm going to run under the same. You probably will, I. You probably will, I. Like, see, see, one thing, uh, one thing about Derry, and this is what I always say, you'll end up getting shot on at some stage no. with Derry. It's sad, it's sad no to matter say, you because if you're a local player, I don't know what it's like to be a player out of the town coming to the club, I don't know how welcome the club is. No. You know, but but players from outside the town don't mind it. They, they, that's they, what I mean. They, 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 they can, they can, they can. It's more hurtful for a local player. See the local boys that you know that are not treated well and stuff mm. like that. Uh. That are not treated well and stuff like that. They, they're the they're the people that feel it the most because they put the most up there. Uh. You know, they put the most up there. The they're local players. They're going to play for. Gonna you know, play the boys from Dublin. You know, you know the boys from Dublin. They'll stay it's a year, two years, they'll be away. Well, they and, and they know that themselves, you know, yeah. they're, they're not going to have... Now, to be fair, James Kelly played this for two and a half years. James Kelly was one of the best players I ever played with. Right. Unbelievable fella. One leagues with Shelburne, one leagues with Drada, one leagues with Bowes. James Kelly... I'm still in touch with James, and James is going down to uh, Westport Millsnall for a couple of years and stuff like that. James said to me that the only boys he keeps contact with in senior football is the boys from Denny. This was me and like they felt so welcome. It's because they, they made him so nice. He said, see, see, and Bows and Shells, he said, Quarter, he said it was like a it was just a battle all the time. You just know we've had many players coming on and you just you couldn't make friends with anybody, he said, but he said, here we are now, 25 years later, I mean you're still talking about James down at Longford, but he's thinking over as assistant manager. Mm -hmm. But uh 
he, he had a real connection with the boys up here, like you know what I mean. And the likes, of, no, I'm not saying that's not saying I'm just saying like a likes, like, likes like here Martin aye. that have have moved up here and stuff like that. Aye, apparently, apparently moved. Aye, hundred percent. Like you know what I mean. But you know, there's there's so many people like you know, put so much out there. Like you know, man, we talk about John Quigley. Like, aye, Quigley. The way Quigley was treated, aye. I was not sure of. Space one, like you know what I mean. But again, football changes as well the time, and you, you have to be able to. And you have to treat people like that. You have to treat people, people, people like that. Especially, especially an ex player. Like, oh, an ex player that produced so, so many players. So many the players system. through the system. You know what I mean? International players mm -hmm. got the money and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So the way Quiggy, like, but again, it, it's, all, it's all down to the way the club Aye. passes, oh, you know, passes responsibility on the people that don't know how to handle it. I mean, that, that, that's the way that it works, you know what I mean? Right. You know, so, but hey, look, we, we've all, everyone is, and I remember we were, we were at the, 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 the Fallon area, you mean, the, the thing, yeah, I kicked on, uh, the Derry City Fallon area, right. so we were all at the, the premiere, and on the stage, they asked McGinn, Starkey, Felix, and me, right. I've seen and, that. and every one of us has a story to tell about right. how we were treated at the Derry City, right. you know what I mean? And, the fans don't know it, but no, the fans think I'm right. Everything but but every one of us went That's through something. so much. You know right. what I mean? Everyone is. But if you were to ask us, would we do it all again? Fans up, stay away, like, you know what I mean? 100%. You know, That's just your love for the club. It's just your love for the guy. Regardless all. of hardship to your turn. Aye. You know. We just, we just love it. We just love, every one of us love playing in the brand new thing, you know? Yeah, and that's the that's thing about it. I'm not really not going to get that chance to play in that grass pitch. I know. You know? Um, and that's, 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 that's the whole thing about the brand new thing, you know what I mean? That's we, that 4G pitch does my no. brain up. I know. I know. You know what I mean? Whereas you, like, you would have played in the brand new thing, you know what I mean? Aye. But it was like a character. Aye. You know what I mean? Yeah, they take a look. Ah, oh, brilliant, like, you know what I mean? And that's, that's, that was it. The Brando always had that aura about it. You know Aye. what I mean? And uh, the grass, they don't talk about grass, so they just, I walk on it and I go. I don't know. Sure. Like any no, I can't, I can't, nah. So, what do you, what do you think in terms of coaching? You know, the different, the different um, elements of coaching from way back then, you know. Well, well, you, you mentioned Lola King and about the running though. Aye. Well, I don't football in general. Uh, well, football in general. I think. I, I think. For me, I think the idea that he's been taken out of football, like you know what I mean. I think football. Well, they're overcoached. Over you know, overcoached, like they don't. No freedom. Well, I think. I think if you're brave enough, you'll do it anyway. Aye. I think. You, think you, you can take out of a player, but I think limitations are put in players who are maybe able to do certain do, things. Uh, do, well, 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 there's always going to be certain players that know their power, but know their limit, and, and like getting coached. <coughs> there's players like getting coached. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong, coaching, it can slow a, a player up and maybe make them a wee bit more technically, uh -huh. you know. Uh, well, the way, the way I look at it is, it, it's, a, it's a necessary evil, the man. Coaching's a necessary evil, you know what I mean? My problem with coaching us as coaches, mm. people, boys, boys need coaching by just them. No, 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 no what, 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 what I'm trying to say is they, they don't understand the game. Aye. You know, yep. they don't understand it because. Well, Liam, I'll go back and they think, well, I don't, I don't, my coaching guys, and, and I'll go way back years ago, so long story short, and I keep on, I keep on messing this. This, this certain thing, um, you know, there's boys in there that never played football. Aye. There's boys that never understood the game. No. And when we were doing me coaching drills, being assessed and things like that, I think kept on breaking down because he couldn't pass you a ball. Aye. No, you, uh, you know, we things like that, but they're quick enough to oh, charge them, they're quick enough to pay the fee, they're well, quick enough to handle the stand about, Well, they used to stand about their clipboards. I've a way issue with stuff like that. Aye, well, they used to stand about their clipboards or their, their liver. Now it's a, no, it's a, no, it's a, no, it's a, 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 a iPad now. And you go, and I used to go, and I used to watch the Eggie, and I used to watch Marty and, and uh, Kevin Dewey and all. And I used to pick four of them to make one song. And I used to go, 
I used to yeah, I used to be on the radio, come on. Sometimes four coaches. They back one song. Oh, they, 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 they tell you what? Aye, I know. They tell you like if you're uh, see me, see me, I, I, as I said before, I probably have nightmare for managers and coaches because But football is not don't overthink football in terms of well, the thing about it was, I used to, I used to do team talks. That dude, tactics weren't really a thing. Like, you know, put a clipboard up, you said, right, pick up a man here, pick up a man there, mark on mark this. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't like, watch this match, or watch this now, or analyze this. Mm. It was like, just do it, just do the basics. Right, and then they went out on the team talks, and we, right, we want you to do this, and what we're out players. Aye. Used to come to me, and I used to go, I'm going to forget that there, as soon as I had Aye. that pitch. <laughs> Because I'm going to do what I want to do. You know, yeah, yeah. you know it's not going to. My, the way I'm, I play, it's not going to be aye. the same way as Peter Houghton or Sean Hart plays or, or even Dory. You probably need needed that kind of strength. Aye. For me, it was like a case of. I'm just. It was the way you were used to play. Like, I'm just you know, play sticking like through somebody's play. legs. And, like, I used to get more enjoyment sticking through somebody's legs aye. and scoring a goal. Major day. <laughs> like, option. You know, aye. I mean, it's 6-1, aren't we? Option. <laughs> I'm sure you put it through your legs and go, I put it through your legs. I, you know, but you know, there, there has to be a balance, obviously. But I think, I think if you're brave enough now, especially now the way manager, every, everybody plays the same system now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's either a four, four and a holding the two, uh, two wide men, your wing backs are pushed on, uh, blah blah blah. And everything's played on side now, and everything's kept a keep a ball possession, 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 possession. See, at times you have to be brave. You have to go take it upon yourself. I want to take it upon myself. Even if I lose it, I don't care what he says. Aye. I don't care what the manager says. Aye. I don't care what the crowd say. Because it's know? never, it's, it's not a bad thing to make a mistake. No. You only learn off him, yeah. and then yeah. just like as I say, coaching, coaching, coaches now are like ah. Oh, I just, I, I despair things up like, you know, I, know, I, know. I despair, especially you get boys talking about it, like, <laughs> you know what I mean, and I'll be looking at them and going, right, right. Uh, there's a boy I used to work with, and I'll say his name, like, you know what I mean, and he never, he never played football in his life, and he started coaching me boys teams, and, I think football has become that now, he used to come up and try to tell me, what the, how how do you think it? No, I wouldn't even say what would you do? You come out and tell me this is what we do, no? I'm going. That'll work. That'll work and I used to go back. He lost me. Aye. He lost me in a minute he said he, he, he were coaching. Well I, I had a come back then and I had to assure you about this. I kept on breaking down and when long story short, I said my my way of explaining it was would you ever hand anybody a swimming badge if they couldn't swim? <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? All over self. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, like, all over self, yeah. You know, I just think, I just think... There's more than, there's more than, there's... Like, you can't... See if, you, see if you're playing senior football, you know, you're, mm. what do you call senior football now, playing League like Ireland or anything, right? If you, if you need to be told what they do, Aye. you should be playing. <clears throat> no, yeah, the manager's manage. job should be handy enough on the sideline. Well, there's, there's managers, all, all managers need to do is get the best out of you. Mm. you know, that's, and there's a way of doing that. There's a way of doing that. There's, there's people that are really good at it. There's other people that's not so good at it. You know right. what I mean? That, that they need coaching, they, they do this. See players, players want to be told, <clears throat> you go and enjoy yourself, or you go and do that. Don't, people, players don't want to be told, I need don't you to do that. I need, don't you know this is this is that you need to be restricted and doing this here. Mm. Because the matter it just affects our game. Affects your game. And the thing about the thing about football is I mean, it's there for see for fans they may enjoy. Spectators just they watch. They go watch, don't watch somebody do it so. Uh, you know, the reason, well that's a the reason why the reason why people still talk about me playing. It's for them we we drums as a business. We drums as a business. Well the percent. Like that how you old assist in my heaven. Right. I said to my heaven, um, he never heard it, he never, and I said, just watch it, get it up. You know, we think like that. People still talk about it, I know. You know, and that's, still talk about that's it, so. like, I, and, that, and that's it, and it's, it's great, there's, there, there, and there's certain people that need coast, and there's other people that don't. Right. You know, and a good manager will spot that, like, you know what I mean? But what I wouldn't want is somebody coming over and saying to me, we had an iPad at half time. Right. You have it wrong. 
six kilometers now that first half what's going on uh, <laughs> right, see yeah uh, they're all the best uh, he, he, uh, he wouldn't uh, <laughs> you wouldn't, get a good, you wouldn't have got a good response off me if that was the case. Because like, I know, I was with chat, they, they play, it's not just a daily, but this is our club. Yes, so you, you know what I mean? And they're saying, why would we come over to you and say, you get, you get luck at a word. That's all right, he's putting the effort in, but what has he actually physically done? Oh, okay. like people used to say, they were not much to you. I used to go, well, the ball can move faster than me. No ball's done yet. And the, well, the ball, the ball moves faster than, hmm. than me, why would I want to be running? Running after? Running after, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's the thing about it. Get the ball down and then the ball. But no. I but I mean that's that's I, a lot. I know it's an endless story, but I I, I get your point. But I, really, I, I really do, you know. I think it's it's one of them things. It's a necessary evil at the moment. I mean, I was chatting with Paddy McLaughlin about it, and Paddy said to me he had a, a conversation with one of his players at club. And he said, look, he said if you want to if you want to if you want to stay in the game, get your coach up by us. But don't think it means that you know anything. Right. That's 100%. He said, I said, because that's, that's <laughs> the way it is. He that's said, he said all, all it's going to do is keep me on the game. Aye. You know, if you want to stay in the game, job here, there's going to be a job there. He said, but Aye. don't don't take it as this, as if you, you know, know more than anybody that's played the game before you. 100%. Because, and, 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 and that's the best, <clears throat> best explanation I've heard about it. Aye. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, you know, there's going to be our players, or everybody's going to have to do them because that's the way you get for half a thing, so you know what I mean? But maybe it does, it's, it's, it's a bit of paper, it doesn't mean anything, you know uh, what I mean? Uh, really, we're going to finish off, so maybe a couple of wee pairs for one. So, who was the best player that you ever played against? Played against? Against. The best, the best player I ever played against was Paul Zahn, with Pats. But Ozo started off as a north side left, six, he's six foot four, started off as a north side left, went through a bad knee operation, nearly finished his career. Some of your own? Or? Well, no, his, his was crucial <coughs> at the time, he went through about three or four operations, and he came back and started playing in the middle of the field with Pats. Pats team, mid, mid 90s were top side, they won the league two or three times. He's a left foot on him. As good as I seem, like you know what I mean. There's a lot of good players, like you know what I mean. Uh, around that side, like uh, Eric Gordon, they played in that team as well too. But Mike Ozo was, see, see for a long period of time, he was just, just, just consistently. Oh, he was just consistently good, like you know what I mean. Mm. And not only are they a tough fella as well, they won't love it, like you know what right. I mean. So I've, I've, I've thought about it, I've thought about the, over the years who who you think like, like Dolan was a nightmare to play against. See when Dulla was playing against us, like you know, played a really good Shelburne team, won mm -hmm. a double thing uh on the path fell and played them up. Dulla was Dulla was top drawer, like, you know right. what I mean? Even playing with like you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. I would put Big Ozo at the top of that there. Best manager you ever played under? Well the best manager I played under was McLaughlin. Mm -hmm. Jim was the best, like you know what I mean? But for me later on in my career, Kevin Matt was equally important. Aye. You know, as I, as I spoke earlier on. Very good, aye. Very good. But McLaughlin, McLaughlin was just. McLaughlin seen things. Your biggest, your biggest highlight in football? Biggest highlight? Um, I, was pro I would say probably. I would say probably scored a woman goal in the cup final, 2003. I told that it was against Rovers that's because I was, right. I was 30, mm -hmm. 35 at the time mm -hmm. and I knew it was, well, and I played the same cup finals before that, never scored. That's right, yeah. So I knew that they had, like, you know, the, the treble and all was, as a team went for the town and all was right. amazing, yeah. you know what I mean? But on a personal thing, I think that the, the, the cup final goal in 2002 was, as I say, as you get older, you appreciate it. As a player, you appreciate it more, like you know. Uh, um, finish off team, your biggest influence, influence in the game. Biggest influence in the game would probably be would would have been oh, in the game, like I. Well, the biggest influence I had was my my mother. Mother. My mother was the biggest. Uh, you know, see me dad. My dad was. He just expected you need. Well, uh, my dad, my, my dad expected. never spoke to you. My dad, my dad was, my dad was, my dad was, I was actually expecting to say, 
His other faith. Oh, see, my dad, my dad was a superstar, Ricky. Aye. That doesn't want to be a superstar. Aye. You know what I mean? He just, he didn't want that hassle of everything that came out. Oh, he was happy sitting in Celtic Bar with his mates. He was where he's from, up of her and all. My, my mom was the one that, she was the one that uh, really. Just speaking the just speaking the like, like a couple of high, just as a just, song. Just as a song and just have a conversation. Like she died, like I was only twenty eight when she died, like you know what I mean? Right. But you know, Jimmy McCartney and Joe Healy. You know Joe do yeah, right. you know Joe. Right. Jimmy like Jimmy younger and Jimmy uh, and Joe was as a Just certain older, periods, you're certain period. periods of my life, like you know right. what I mean? They were they were the two football people that had the biggest influence on me. You know what I mean? That, that they they just seen someone in me that that uh, nobody else did, uh, and uh, that was the, that was uh, look, looking back on it now. Like I, as a younger age, Jimmy was was really prevalent me at me growing up. But as I had thing way, like you know, Joe was Joe was a, a not only that, there was a great fella. Like you know what I mean? Uh, An absolute yeah. gentleman. Like you know what uh, I mean? So. You don't want to leave anybody because there's, um, always, there's, there's always, always somebody that there's always somebody like that that always you can always think well, like you know what I mean looking looking as I say my, my heroes growing up were Felix, Kale Mann, Seamus McDowell, Cheeks, uh, Cheeks, and and I and I tell him so many times now when I see him, Jim Cleary, you know, I remember going to watch Jim Cleary playing a core when I was a, a young fella, and I couldn't believe how good he was. I couldn't believe how good he was. And, I, and it's like it's, it's like a thing when you see when Jack comes down back and touring legends, I get over me saying it all. You know what I mean? Talking and stuff like that there. And, and I always go to him, and I always, I always say that voice, I said, you'd be fucking th th stopping him, like, you know what I mean? Like, but Felix and Kia Mabahan and Seamus McDowell growing up were uh, Tony Hutton and Peter Hutton and Charlie Ferry and all, you know what I mean? All them boys that I used to watch as growing up, like you know, they were they they all had a major influence and uh, um, just different wee things that they were able to just just playable and you know group them, and just watching them play and how they behaved and stuff like that, you know, what I mean? all top me and like, you know what I mean. And, <clears> and uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm going away again. But uh, but no, as I say, one of them I could probably name you an hour twenty, but uh, no, I mean, but it was uh, but, but uh, it's. it's <clears throat> He brought back some memories for me, Dave. Honestly, sometimes he just. Well, that's all. That's sometimes he just. Yes, you forget a lot of stuff. But you forget about that. Because you don't talk about things. You know, like a fucking hundred percent. Like. Are you getting one on lately? Yeah. But uh, but no, I enjoy that. I hope I hope the fans are alright. I mean, like you know. Aye, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. But um, he's still in Woodbrook, isn't he? Still in Woodbrook. Still there. Yeah. Because there's a certain fella. There's a certain fella. I don't know if you know him. Gary Slevin. Gary, he lives across the street, mate. Yeah, he doesn't run him. Aye. No, he's Gary, but his wife would do my classes, Katrina, and she she was saying to me that he only lets on to go for a run because he's so engrossed with you. <laughs> he's, like, yeah. he's over across the street, over looking through your windows for a couple of hours. <laughs> well, this is, this, is, this is how he comes And he comes back and he says, Jesus, I'm not for a couple of hours here now. And she's seen him <laughs> over one or two your windows. Like, I, remember, I remember Gary. We were talking about Brooke Gary and I. Uh, Gary and a few other boys, young Conor McGinty and all, mm. and uh, used to come down and stand outside yeah. my house and all, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait for me coming out Obsessed. and all. And there you are now, all sitting uh, there, all families uh, and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, but no, but good days, good days, mate, good memory. That's great. And that's, and, and see, see yeah, I'm sitting there now, I'm just hoping now that you get the experience, some of the things. Um, I think he, he's come in this year, it's been a lucky year. Well, it's not lucky. He's good enough, but but the thing about it, this this is what I was, ch I was chatting to Peter Hutton and Harry about it there before Christmas. We were out for for a night out, and, and they were asking, "Would you change anything?" And I said, "Would I try to enjoy it more? Aye. Try to enjoy it, you know, because it gets so intense." But, that's what I mean. You're on about the fish bowl. Fish bowl. It gets so intense good. at times, and especially young young players like Evan and all. Now you're coming through, and it's. But, but there's not much expectation at times. Expectations. It's like it over it overtakes the, the realization. I and you get so tense. I keep on saying to him, even when he's training, even when he's when he's going out to whatever game, I say some always remember to try and play with us, man. Oh, just try and enjoy aye. it. Try and enjoy well, it. Well, Don't put it. too much pressure on oh, yourself. Well that's it. And the thing about it is, you know, 
You're going to get you're going to get oh, the times uh-huh. your manager still the garden players are going to have a go at you and all. Mm. But they see at the end of it all, you know, you'll be funny in ten, fifteen years then, uh-huh. and you'll say to yourself, "What's all that about? Uh-huh. What was all that about? Like, you know, what was all that arguing about? What was all the fighting about? What was all that?" And he see, and he, he see, and, I, and I always and I said that to Harry and Pete, I said, "I wish I just could have enjoyed it. That relaxed bit, a bit I really more. relaxed a bit more and." It's just talk it on your stride at times, you know what I mean? Because at times you do put pressure on yourself because you, pe- people expect that much of you that you start going, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. And then that enjoyment goes out. You're forgetting about exactly what, what you're right. there for. So, uh, what's it going to be talking about this year? Right? Uh, hopefully, hopefully. But uh, thanks, Liam. Thanks for your time. No bother. Really, you're really welcome. I appreciate it. And Liam Coyle, everybody, your second guest on the Fully Podcast. So, Liam. Oh, Ciao, man. Thank you. Thank you.